Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Infinitely Guided to Go. My name is CJ. How are you? This is going to be intended for Sagittarius. I want it to be a love message. We'll see what comes through, okay? It's the monthly for February 2020. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is a general message, so it will not resonate with everyone, okay? Gender is not specific in Tarot, right? We all harness feminine and masculine energies. Zodiac isn't truly significant either. It can be, but it, it's not always the case. So it's more important to focus on the message, okay? The energies are fluid, so we could be speaking of past, present, or future energies. This can be a reflection of what's directly happening with you and your situation, or it can be a reflection of what is someone energetically experiencing, okay? Someone who is energetically connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Roles can be reversed. Cross watching, you're welcome here. And let's get started. Any other information you need to know about this message is in the description box below. So, how are you guys? I just came off a vacation. I had a birthday on February 11th, and I'm feeling great. Cards are wanting to talk to you guys, Sagittarius. You have the Strength card. The Strength card is Leo energy. It speaks of taming the beast within. It also speaks of spirit being here with you to provide you inner strength. You have inner strength, rather you feel fearful or not. Rather you feel courageous or fearful. Inner strength is here for you. And for me, this card is source, spirit, God, providing you with exactly what it is that you need, okay? This is Leo energy, and the card states that it's, well, we know that it's a major arcana, but the card states that it's the angel of courage. So you're going to have the courage to do whatever it is that you need to do, whatever situation that you're facing, you're facing it with courage. The angel of courage is here to provide you inner strength. The cards are just falling out. Okay, let's see. Holy Spirit, please provide energies for Sagittarius, Sun, Rise, and Venus people for February 2020. Holy Spirit, please provide messages of love, truth, and guidance for my Sagittarius, Sun, Rise, and Venus people. Messages for Sagittarius, some of you guys and Venus people. Maybe some of you needed the courage to walk away. Maybe some of you need the courage to speak your truth. Maybe some of you needed the courage to face up to someone. Holy Spirit, what's the rest of the message for Sagittarius? Oh my gosh. These cards are flying out for you guys, but there's so many. Holy Spirit, can we please get three more cards for Sagittarius? Three more cards, Holy Spirit. Three cards. Three cards, Holy Spirit. The next card is the Four of Swords. Um, that's healing. So you have healing here. Source is here giving you courage and healing. As I mentioned, some of you may have had to find the courage to walk away and stay away, right? Two more cards here, Holy Spirit for Sagittarius, some of the lines and Venus people. Two more cards, Holy Spirit. Two more cards. Five of Cups is sadness. That is um, looking at the two, 
looking at the three cups that have already spilt milk or spilt and not paying attention to the other two cups that exist. Spirit wants to give you a lot of cards, so I'm just going to take them all. You have the Nine of Wands, Determination, the Seven of Cups, Choices, the Nine of Swords, Stress. You have the Lovers and the Page of Pentacles. I'm going to take one more card, just so there we go. Yeah, and then you have the Three of Swords in Reverse, Heartache. Let me take a moment to look at these cards. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, what I'm seeing here, what I'm seeing here is healing for from someone that you were in perhaps a long-term uh, commitment with this is definitely a strong bond this was some for some of you it was a marriage for others of you it was like um what do you call the relation those relationships that are you've been together for years but you never you know had the wedding ceremony, but it's just like you're married. I feel like that's what I'm feeling here. And there are a lot of ups and downs in the relationship, right? What relationship doesn't have that? But I feel like someone did something underhanded, okay? I feel like there's somebody here, the heart of the matter is the options someone has a lot of options this is the heart of the matter someone has a lot of options and it created sadness for someone someone is making a decision regarding this relationship or has in the past made a decision it took courage and determination to step out of this relationship for some of you for others of you it's a courage and determination to decide to stay maybe because of <clears throat> various reasons okay but i feel like for a lot of you there has been some healing um there has been some healing i feel like some some of you definitely have at least one child involved in this connection um, but in the past, yeah, there was definitely some sadness and stress regarding this relationship because of a third party situation. Now, I feel like the third party situation has ended or you're no longer dealing with, you're no, you've taken yourself out of the situation. So that's why there's no longer a third party situation because you removed yourself. Okay. But I feel like someone had a, a really hard decision to make. And currently, um, I would say the majority of you are, um, you're healing from that situation. You may be out dating, okay? You may be dating. Some of you um, have decided to um, go back to school. Some of you have decided to invest in yourself in some shape, form, or fashion, perhaps um, investing um, perhaps investing in land, perhaps you came into some money and decided to invest in some land or decided to make some, um, you know, HRA investments, CD investments, um, some type of financial investments. Um, or Others of you may have decided to go back to school and this is what's bringing you this new um, this new luck. You're on a lucky streak, okay? You're investing in yourself. You're leaving the stress behind. You're determined to invest in yourself. Love yourself. This was a, a, a really hard decision to make because there was some... Um, 
a lot of years put into this connection, but it caused a lot of stress, caused a lot of sadness, it caused a lot of heartache. And roles can be reversed, vice, vice versa, flip-flop, whatever, right? There's definitely some healing here. And as I mentioned, source, spirit, God is definitely here, giving you the courage to move forward, giving you the strength, the inner strength that you've already had within you. But your angels were sent to you to whisper in your ear that everything is going to be okay and that you will survive this. I want to get some clarification. I feel like the other person involved in this is now stressing. I feel like the roles have been reversed for some reason. That's what I'm feeling. The roles have been reversed. Holy Spirit, please clarify the cards on the table for Sagittarius, Summer, Rise, and Venus people. Holy Spirit, please clarify the messages on the board for Sagittarius, Summer, Rise, and Venus people. Please give us clarity and love, truth, and guidance, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please give messages of love, truth, and guidance for Sagittarius, Summer, Rise, and Venus people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Holy Spirit, clarify the strength card for Sagittarius, Summer, Rise, and Venus. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Source came through and told you you were not you were not trapped, right? It's just a figment of your imagination. You're not trapped. You're no longer trapped. Yeah, it's the um, it's the drama, right? That's someone coming forth, bringing you bringing you this energy or you're bringing someone this knight of swords energy it's it's communicating right like i said standing up speaking your peace having the courage to say what it is you needed to say okay and as i said spirit stepped in and um Spirit stepped in because you might have been stressed about the decision you have had to make, feeling like you were trapped, but Spirit told you you were not trapped. And then you just, you know, this other connection, someone connected to you might have brought you the drama. And um, maybe you prayed for, for guidance, right? Because it was stressing you out to help you make this decision here that you had to make, right? A decision having to be made here. If you were given the strength to make that decision. Holy Spirit, please provide me with the um, Seven of Cups. What is the choices about? What is the choices about, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Six of Wands. Victory, darling. Being recognized. Hmm. Someone being recognized here is definitely not about confusion. It's about having different choices. It's about um, someone out of these seven choices. Someone's recognizing you as the one. Okay, then we have the Page of Pentacles, which is an offer being made, right? an offer being made but this is my like setting the intention for the dream this is the dream this is setting the intention for the dream to come true this is the initial seed being planted 
is what I want to say. Holy Spirit, give me more information about this victory and the seed being planted for the future. Yes. Yes, Holy Spirit. Oh, my goodness. All of these cards wanted to come up, but look at this. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. That is a new opportunity. That is Source Spirit God providing you with a shining pentacle. It's groundedness. It's prosperity. It's financial gain. That seed. Right? The seed, the ideal, the investment, stability. So it's providing you stability, financial stability, emotional stability on your new path here. Holy Spirit, please give me the Nine of Swords. What was the stress about? What was the stress about, Holy Spirit? What was the stress about? Endings. The cycle ending. Yeah, so I feel like you're being recognized, okay? I feel like people are seeing you, um, seeing where you came from, seeing you moving in a new direction, acknowledging that you have potential, okay? You have the world here. That cycle's ending. It's fixed energy. It's Taurus. It's Leo. It's um, Scorpio and... Aquarius energy, but it's liberation for me. You're free, okay? And maybe you didn't know how you were going to do that, but you were provided the energy. Like some of you may be traveling the world, okay? Some of you are stepping through a new portal. I feel transformative energy here, and you have the sun, beautiful beautiful energy but it wasn't always like this right it's transformed into this after this energy here okay holy spirit please give me the page of pentacles like i said some of you may have children but this is this card says luck okay luck on your side what is the luck card here for, Holy Spirit? Why is the Page of Pentacles here, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius, Summer Rising, Venus people? Yeah. It's about the investment. There's a judgment call being made. So, yeah, look at this. This is another page, right? Page of Pentacles is still my dream card. It's luck on your side. It's investing pondering on what you're going to invest in this is also pondering on the investment that you put in this emotionally right taking a step back right with this one pentacle here and deciding to go forth with something new perhaps taking your portion and investing in you okay that's what i'm getting here and a judgment call happening this is like karma okay like I said, roles being reversed. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Roles have been reversed. Yes, the wheel turning in your favor. And now somebody else is stressed, right? The wheel turning in your favor now, okay? And someone else is stressed, okay? Can we find out who this other person is, Holy Spirit? Give me the lovers. This could be Gemini. You know the Wheel of Fortune is more fixed energy. It's Taurus, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, and um, I'm sorry, what did I say? Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, okay? So you could be dealing with any of those people, um, those signs, okay? And again, roles can be reversed. 
Salisbury. Give me the lovers, please. Little, and then I'm going to pull some advice cards and romance angel cards. Holy Spirit, give me the lovers for Sagittarius. Hmm. Juggling. Now this could either be jug juggling with the ideal or the decision to move, right? Or someone who was juggling. It can be either or. It doesn't seem like I'm getting much information about who this uh, other person is. Holy Spirit. Can I have the lovers? More information about the lovers. More information about the lovers. Holy Spirit. We have... We have the juggler, right? Juggling someone um, trying to keep the balls in the air, right? But life balance, I feel like. Balancing work with home life. It can be hard, especially when you're going through stressful situations at home. But I have the hard working card here. I feel like there was some hard work that was put into this relationship. Others of you, you're working tremendously hard at work, you know, at your nine to five. Some of you are deciding to go into business for yourself and you're focused and determined, okay, to go into this um, new passion, this passionate, creative project that you're, um, that you're focused on. That's what I feel. Like there's somebody here who's making an investment in their cells, okay? They're deciding to take um, their funds out of the bank or someone came across new funds okay and they're investing in their self and they're determined to make it happen a new business venture um, investing in land investing in IRA a CD um, some type of financial investment going on here and then we have the star which is um, wish being fulfilled and it all may, may be it may have been propelled, right? You may have been pushed forward because of the heartbreak here. Or it may have been an Aquarius who broke your heart, okay? But I see this as a the northern star. It's like your angels watching over you while you're going through all of this. And this may have propelled you. The three of swords may have propelled you into this new, this beginning here. I just want to get one more card behind the heartbreak card, the three of swords. Even though it's like, it's a, you know, the swords are the air signs, right? If this is resonating with you, although we have the three of swords here, at the end we have the three of swords in reverse, which is heartache in reverse. So you're letting that go and you've moved on. You're happy, right? You're traveling, you're investing in yourself. That's what I see. And it was a hard decision to make, but that's what was done because spirit came through and provided you with that strength. Okay. Yeah, we have the seven of wands, which is defensive energy, but it's like protecting yourself. Protecting yourself and putting up your bar your barriers right um because there's a king of wands here that's um and roles can be reversed right but i feel like this is um aries but it could be sag and it could be leo energy and it had to do with the happy home here the king of wands is someone who is a little you know they're fast moving, they're energetic, they're an action person, they get up and go, they take what they want. You know, it's the counterpart to the Queen of Wands. Gender doesn't matter. So, you know, the King of Wands is looking in the opposite direction of the happy home here. So I, again, I feel like there was a marriage, but this might have been a twin flame energy if you believe in that. Two people mirroring each other. And it might have been a karmic, a karmic partnership here. With the wheel here, I feel like this was a situation that just kept going around and around and around, probably in the wrong direction. But in any case, it's going forward now. A judgment call has been made, and I feel like the tables have been turned here. Let's get some Romance Angel cards on this. Holy Spirit, please provide Romance Angel energy on this 
spread for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus people, Holy Spirit. Please provide Romance Angel energy to the spread for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus people. Messages, that was way too many. Messages of love, truth, and guidance, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Messages of love, truth, and guidance for Sagittarius, February 2020. Messages for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus, people, February 2020, Holy Spirit. And we have one card, and it says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. The next card says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. One more card, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And the last card says, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive your highest energy of all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And now let's just get monology cards on three. One, two, three. Confidence is your key to success. This is the new moon in Leo. Yeah. So let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Confidence is your key to success. I told you some of you guys are investing in yourself and you may need some assistance. That um, Your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, okay? Your ascendant masters, they're all watching over you. Just speak it and ask for help, okay? And it says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And this card here says, hold your vision. Whatever it is that you want for you, it's the fixed moon. You had two fixed cards here. Um, hold your vision, okay? Believe. Set your intention. And don't, don't let anyone stray you away, okay? from your vision. One more card, Holy Spirit. One more card, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus people. The next card is bring love into the situation. This is the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. And then I want to bring one more deck into this. This is the bonus card. Okay, so this is from the um, answer angels think of your question and I'm going to pull a card I'm actually going to bring pull three okay just to be fair but it's a question you're going to ask yourself out loud or in your mind and the angel answers are going to answer it for you it can have to do it could be related to the spread but i wanted to relate to the question that you have in particular okay sagittarius ask the question here we go the answer is not the right time ask another question oh boy here we go peaceful resolution and it also came out with there's something better so I'm going to put those two together peaceful resolution and there's something better ask the last question Sagittarius and there's our answer recovery I feel like this is that healing right it's not the right time right everything is in divine timing and then we have peaceful resolution and there's something better those two cards came out together for you and the last one was recovery this is like meditation healing recovery this is what i have for you sagittarius i hope you enjoyed this new spread that i did with all of the different cards different messages for different people. I'm wishing you all the best. Please like, subscribe, share. Many blessings, love, and light to you all. Until I see you next time, Sagittarius, please take care of yourself.
Namaste.